Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video will be a Halloween and fall vlog. I've recently accepted that the fall time and Halloween is my favorite season and I kind of went a little crazy this year and I bought a load of decorations. I actually didn't own any Halloween decorations. I have a sign for my front door which I will show you, but that's the only thing that I had for Halloween. So this year, as soon as August hit, I was shopping. I was going to HomeSense every single week. I was going to Michaels, I was going to Walmart. I was looking for Halloween. So this is all stuff that I've kind of bought since the beginning of August when stores were slowly putting out all of their stuff and I'm actually really happy with everything that I have. I probably will end up buying a few more pieces but I feel like as of right now this is kind of everything that I will have. So I thought I would do a haul first, show you everything that I bought so far this year and then later on I will finally decorate my house. I did a huge Sunday reset yesterday so my entire house is dusted, vacuumed, and cleaned so I can put out all of my fall and Halloween stuff. I think I'm going to start with all the stuff from Michaels because Michaels had their stuff out literally right at the beginning of August. I do have some fall floral that I will show you as well because I did buy some fake flowers that I just have hidden away because Blue, my cat, will eat all of it so she eats literally anything so i have that hidden away right now i will show you after but i only bought like a few pieces from michael's they have a couple of different collections and i just bought a few things the first thing that i bought was this little stack of books it says magic spirits and tricks with a black cat I love anything with black cats because I have a black cat. So basically, I wouldn't say that's necessarily my theme because I think this is the only thing that I have with a black cat. But I love ghosts, I love witches, I love pumpkins, I love black cats, crows, that kind of vibe, you know, like the very traditional Halloween stuff I love. I am planning on painting the pink part, like maybe green or orange. I just don't love the pink it doesn't really go with anything else that i have but i bought this and this was 24.99 then part of michael's i guess wicked garden i think that's what the collection is called yes wicked garden i bought two things from that collection the first one is this little skeleton carriage and it says together eternally and this I just thought was so cute. They literally only had one or two left when I went to go buy this. And there's only one Michaels in my city. So I had to get this. It was $29.99. I feel like maybe I should try to paint like the pink flowers. Because I don't love the pink. But I thought this was pretty cute. And then the other thing from the Wicked Garden collection was this skeleton couple and she just literally like has her his head in her hands i don't know why i thought this was funny i thought this was funny and kind of creepy this was 24.99 this was also the last one when i went to go buy it so i needed it as well i might paint the flowers up here maybe or actually the purple kind of goes maybe the pink i'll paint i don't know i just don't love pink in like Halloween decor and also from Michaels. I bought this little wooden box that was $4.99 and you can paint it. I don't think I'll paint it, but I think I'm gonna put this in the bathroom It actually lights up. So just a little warning for flash here, but it lights up in all these different colors and It is so bright at night. It is just insanely bright and Yeah, they have a bunch of different things that you can paint that light up and i just loved the whole moon cat the like tombstone and then this person like coming out of a grave or something i just thought it was so cute and then the last things from michael's that i bought were some lights and they had their buy one get the second one for free so i grabbed a couple of different lights 
I grabbed these little ghost lights with pumpkins and then I grabbed just some classic little pumpkin ones and I also grabbed some other little pumpkin ones these are smaller and then I bought some purple little bats and these I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put them they might go in my kitchen but we'll see then I bought a couple of things at Walmart honestly Walmart has some really great stuff and I feel like they're just starting to get everything so I might end up buying more from Walmart but I've already bought a few things the first thing is just this little like random pack of pumpkins and this was $6.98 for five pumpkins I feel like that's pretty good they have a bunch of different little sets and then I bought this little ceramic gnome which lights up and it's so cute i have other gnome things that i bought so this kind of ties in with that this is very fall vibes and i just think this is really cute the other thing i bought from walmart is this light up ghost this was 10.98 and it changes colors it has all of the colors and it is so cute at night you can see the colors like coming from the little like lights or whatever i just thought this was so cute and when i went there a week later all of them were gone so these sold out really really fast i'm glad i got to grab one and then i bought a box of mini lights this was 9.98 and i bought them in the color orange this is gonna go along my mirror in my hallway i do that for christmas i put string lights around it so i got some orange ones and i'm gonna put that there they also had so many other different lights they had purple ones but they also had like mini little lights they had like ghost ones and bats i definitely didn't need to buy the michaels ones because they would have been way cheaper at walmart but i was impatient and i thought walmart wasn't going to have any because it took them so long to finally get all of their halloween decor that i didn't think they were going to have any lights but now they do so i would definitely recommend buying lights from walmart because they're way cheaper and the last thing that i bought from walmart is this little witch doll thing my mom has two of these that she bought i think last year and they are so pretty she has some different ones i think one has like purple and i'm pretty sure one has like a crystal ball in her hands or like a book or something and i am so jealous i wish i would have bought them last year when i went yesterday with my mom they had this one and another one the other one looks kind of weird so i bought this one i'm hoping that they have more because i just think they're so cute and pretty and i don't know i love her hair it's like so white this was 15.98 it just has like a plastic thing here and i don't know i just think they're so cute i have a santa claus one like this that my aunt made years ago and i just think they're so pretty so i have this little lady i don't know i feel like i should maybe name her or something then i bought a couple things from dollarama so i bought three little gnomes i have this guy here these were 250 so i have this little green hat one then i have this brown hat and then i have this little orange guy with a sunflower I just thought they were so cute and I could just put these wherever because they're just like an easy little decor piece. I bought this. It doesn't really go with anything else in my decor, so I don't know where I'm going to put this. But I bought this blue little, I guess it's like kind of glass. This was $3. I'm pretty sure I saw a gold one on TikTok somewhere, so I might try to find a gold one. But this goes with my house decor, but it doesn't go with anything else that I bought. <laughs> So I don't know where to put this. And then I also bought this little group of pumpkins and acorns from Dollarama. This was $2.50. I just thought, again, I could just place these wherever as like a cute little addition. And then the rest that I got is from HomeSense or Winners. So first thing I got was this snow globe or glitter globe, I guess. This was $20 and it just has this like haunted house and this little pumpkin and then it also sings so it has a little bit of music
And this is from the brand Hollow Home. Then I grabbed this little three stack of ghosts. This was $20 as well. Again, I love a little ghost vibe, especially with him holding the little pumpkin. I think that's so cute. Then I bought this three stack of white pumpkins. This was also $20 and it lights up. It is very bright. They had a black version. I didn't know if I wanted the black or the white, but I got the white and I feel like it does kind of go with everything else that I have. And then I got this massive haunted house with the witch and her little cauldron at the front. This also lights up and it's a bunch of different colors. I don't know if you can really tell. It's hard to see in the day, but it does light up. And it is broken in like two spots. Like we have right here and then in the back, I think, like right here. So I did get a discount on it. So it was cheaper it was regular fifty dollars and i got it for 40. so not bad this also has a lot of glitter so i'm just gonna have glitter everywhere for a while and then i got another haunted house because i love them this is a very different vibe it's just little ghosties and some pumpkins this one also lights up very excited to have this this was 24.99 my camera just died but i grabbed a bunch of fabric pumpkins from HomeSense. So I grabbed this dark blue, which goes with obviously the theme of my house, but also some of the fall floral that I bought. And this was $6.99. And then I bought a green one, which also just goes with my home decor. And I feel like this is pretty fall, $6.99. I grabbed this little gold one. Again, goes with the theme of my house, $6.99. And then I grabbed this big orange one, which I might want to return this. I still have the receipt, so I might return it. This one was $14.99. I just don't know where I'm going to put this. <laughs> so I might go back and just get a small one and return this. I don't know yet. Then I bought this little pumpkin haunted house with all these little ghosts. This was $24.99. I don't have batteries in it yet, but it does also light up this is super cute love it and then i got this glass pumpkin that has lights in it i saw another version like this which was like a taller pumpkin and it had like paint on it it had like this white squiggly paint at the bottom of it i thought it was so ugly but i liked the glass and like the color of it and they had this small version they had like the shorter pumpkin i need to put batteries in this as well but this was 20 dollars, and i just thought it was really really pretty i think i'm gonna put it on my dining table i bought this set of salt and pepper shakers it's just two little pumpkins i don't really have a lot of decor for my kitchen so i bought these this was 6.99 and then i bought these little hand towels kitchen towels this was $9.99 this is the Martha Stewart line and it just has this witch with her cat there is I think a frog here a crow a crow and then like the moon and she's like having like bones I think in there I just thought this was so cute and like very me and like my vibe for Halloween so I bought this I am trying to find some nice like pumpkin ones just to kind of have two in my kitchen not just have like both of this vibe i want like another pumpkin fall vibe and then i bought a blanket but this blanket is actually going to be a year-round blanket i'm not just going to have it for halloween i'm sure you've seen in some of my vlogs my reading vlogs that i have this black and green blanket that is like a couch blanket it just doesn't go with my house it doesn't go with my vibe but I just have that blanket because my mom gave it to me, I think. I think it's technically my brother's blanket. But when I moved out, I needed like couch blankets. So she had just given me that one. But I don't like it. Like it doesn't go with the vibe. So I've been trying to find some blankets that I really love that kind of fit the vibe or just like are better colors or whatever. And I found this one. And obviously it is kind of Halloween themed, but I feel like it goes with me because it has like the sun, stars, moon, and that is me. I'm a lover of the sun and stars and the moon. So I got this blanket. This is the Cynthia Rowley 
brand and this was $40. So yeah, this is gonna be your year round blanket. I am on the hunt for Halloween blankets, but yeah, I'm glad I found that one because that one is gonna replace my green and black blanket. This is more fall vibes because this is gonna go for my fall floral on my dining room table, but I bought a new vase. So this is from Amazon. I think I paid around $30 for it. It just has like a very vintage farm house kind of vibe and it goes really well with the fall floral that I bought because the current vase that I have on my dining room table, which is this one with these tulips, this doesn't go good with the fall floral that I bought. Like I had tested it out after I bought all the fall floral and I was like, I don't like how it looks. It just looks weird. So I was like, I need another like transitional vase. So I bought this one and I feel like it's gonna look a lot better. And it's just kind of nice to have like different vases and stuff. And I'm very excited to get rid of these fake tulips because blue eat them. Blue eat pretty much all of them. I think there's, oh yeah, there's not even one that's like intact. So she ate all of them, which is why I can't keep flowers on the table if I'm not in the room because she will just eat it. So I need to monitor her with the new floral. So that's basically all of the stuff that I got from Michael's Winter's Home Scents and Walmart. I'm gonna show you guys all the fall floral now. I bought these all from Michael's. They have beautiful fall flowers and I'm still on the hunt for a really pretty wreath for my door because I don't have one. I just have the Halloween sign for my door, but I need a wreath. That is something I'm on the hunt for. So I bought this piece, which was uh, $12.99. And it just says orange and blue mini floral mix. Blue and the green is the theme of my house. So to have some fall floral with some blue, I just feel like it was perfect. So I grabbed one of these and then I grabbed two of these guys because i thought they were so pretty these were both 5.99 each and it just says navy mini berry so i grabbed two of these which i feel like complement this really well and then i grabbed this because i also really liked this vibe but i don't know if it's gonna be too full in the base so i might have to use this next year i don't know but this was 12.99 and it says orange heather mix and i just thought that this would look so pretty it's kind of hard to see but you'll see it when i have displayed so this was going to be on my dining room table and then in my entrance slash hallway i have some little fake white daisies there right now and i thought i would switch those out for some fall floral as well so i bought another little bunch we have this purple wheat which i just thought was so pretty this was 9.99 and it says rosewood wheat and then i bought this which also has purples and pinks in it this was 12.99 it says cream and toast floral mix and then i bought two of these which were 2.99 and these are a burgundy ball mum these also I thought were very cute and also go really well with this vibe. I feel like this is also a very fall floral mix and that was literally everything that I bought so far this year for the fall and Halloween time. And now we're gonna get to decorating.
I'm pretty much done decorating everything so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like kind of in the middle of the day or at 3 p.m. before it's completely dark out it is very gloomy and smoky out today but I will show you a lot later when it is dark out when you first walk into my house obviously we have this string lights there which I love they're super bright and then we have my little entrance table so I put this house that changes colors here I do feel like I need a little bit more pumpkins like fake little pumpkins or something just something else it feels a little incomplete so I need something a little bit more but I love my flowers there looks beautiful and then for the bathroom I just have those three ghosts that little wooden light and then the ghost string lights which I think is really cool and then we get to my kitchen sorry I do have a little bit of a mess but we have my kitchen towels the little light up gnome my salt and pepper shakers and then we have the little bat lights which blue has already tried to play with i don't know if i want to tape them there but i'll leave them like that for now and then in this corner we have the little pumpkins and then this i didn't film but i have wrapped around this bookshelf these little pumpkin lights from michael's that's there i don't know if i want to add any other things i don't have anything really on there but for now, that's good enough. And then we have my beautiful dining table set up. So I have two little acorns, a gnome, the pumpkin, and my fall floral with the blues, which I think this looks very cute. I'm very happy with this. And then we have my first side table. So we have that little house, this little fake pumpkin, the gnome. And this I didn't show you guys in my haul because I bought this last year but it is another like snow globe or glitter globe with a skeleton couple. And then my coffee table is unfinished. I just don't really know what to put here. So right now this is just kind of what it looks like, but I might buy a few more things for here. I need to figure it out honestly, cause I don't know what to put there. But then we have my TV where I have that big pumpkin and then the small one and then the other corner has the other two small ones i actually really love how that looks i'm not going to return that i'm going to keep it and then we have this little bookshelf i love how this turned out i did kind of change it up a little bit and add more of the fake little pumpkins and i think it looks so great and then we have this little side table with the witch and the little house that is so bright i didn't anticipate it to be that bright but it is so bright and then on my bookshelf i didn't really put anything up high because i have a lot of lights i also just don't have that much decor but i put the married couple there the little glitter globe and some of the fake little pumpkins and then the little carriage right there
I think that's it for this video. I definitely do need a couple more pieces, mainly just like the fake little pumpkins, I think. I wanna grab a few more of those and then maybe something for my coffee table because I don't, I, there's something missing. I don't really know what to do with my coffee table and maybe get a bit more fall floral for my bathroom. But other than that, oh, and a wreath for my front door. I need a wreath for my front door. But other than that, I pretty much have all the decor that I need. I feel like I picked a lot of really good pieces that kind of just go all together and that kind of work with my house. I feel like overall I'm pretty happy with all the decor that I have and that I bought. Also, it was really hard to film things. I probably got really bad angles. I'm really sorry about that. I tried my best, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video regardless. Let me know if you've decorated for the season yet. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!